When I started to prepare my speech, I was thinking on a completely different topic. But with the actual situation of my country, I couldn't sleep well, I couldn't concentrate, and I lost my appetite. I could only think of the number of injured people over and over again. I mean, who can even think on a grave when there are people dying on the streets? I asked to my friends and everybody was having the same problems. Lack of concentration, no appetite, difficulties to sleep, and a guilty feeling if you want to have fun. Those are consequences of passing through really stressful times as a social crisis. What happens if your brain is exposed to a long period of stress? Chronic stress doesn't just lead to impaired cognitive functions, it can also lead to other significant problems, such as increased risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Other systems of the body stop working properly too, including the digestive, excretory, and reproductive structures. Stress can also impair the body's immune system and exacerbate any already existing illnesses. So what can we do to prevent and deal with the consequences of a social crisis? First, you need to know that it's normal that you feel in that way. It shows your empathy and your quality as human being. Second, you should control your exposition to information and pictures on social media. It is recommended to those and select where, how, and how much we inform ourselves. Ideally, not be more than two hours connected and filter the kind of pictures that can cause you fear and paranoia. Third, include the spaces of distraction, humor, play, and enjoyment. It is important to realize that there are other spaces so the critical situation is not the only thing that is happening in that moment. Fourth and final, search for dialogue and containment spaces. It is important not lock up, not insulate. Search and create spaces for dialogue in which we can express how we are feeling. And please, if you don't feel okay, ask for help because you matter a lot. Thank you.